So we've got all our pieces on our stand. What we need to do now is we need to, um, hold on a sec, I got a little cake down here. It shouldn't be, I should not see. I don't wanna see any cake, okay. What we need to do is we need to get um, our little claw pieces onto our um, pipe. And then we need to put this, and then we need to put, and we need to put this piece on. Okay, and that's what the gelatin um, ball is gonna sit on. Okay, so we need to get these guys on. And what I did is I actually originally hot glued them just to hold them in place, the wires. A little bit of hot glue. It doesn't stay for very long because it's plastic. You know, it's not gonna. It's not gonna stay. But for just in the meantime, while I'm taping, I could get it. I could get it to hold for a few minutes while I was taping. So let's see if we can get that on. Otherwise, we can duct tape them on too. I'm using floral tape, but we can certainly duct tape them because duct tape will hold them for sure. So I just, the hot glue was just a placeholder to hold it for me. Okay. Placing them on here just a little low. There it goes. That's better. Okay, a little more floral tape. It doesn't have to be rigid, but it's got to be hold it. Remember to pull it to activate it. And they need to be evenly spaced. So I've got those two across from each other and then this one in the middle. And this one right there. So we've got our four claws. Like so. I'm going to pull them down just a little bit. Just below the... All right, so we got that. Once we get that on there, then we want to wrap some of the black, either black fondant or black candy clay around it because you want to hide that. So let me put, put this down and put this on it. So we're going to wrap this around. Just a little strip. Now remember, this only comes up about an inch. This should help hold these guys in place too. And then any excess we can cut off on the bottom here. Like so. Get all those out. <laughs> They'll interfere with the fog machine, so I need to get all those cake crumbs out. Okay, so here we have our claws. And we'll check our ball. Now, when I did these originally, I had checked the curvature of the claw against the ball. The ball was done first. And to make sure that they weren't going to be, you know, really bad. And so I already had that kind of figured out a little bit. So either one of these will work. I need this ball to rest in this cup, like so. Okay. So let's put the cup on there. We need to attach that and we're going to use candy clay to attach it. We really kind of want an airtight seal because we're going to use a, um, we're going to use a fog machine, dry ice, and we really don't want it sipping, slipping out all over the place. So I'm going to seal this up and then this sits on that and that hopefully will seal. Oops. So I'm just using candy clay to Get that on there, there we go. Seal it up, press it against. Okay, the skull. Ooh. Let's see, that's the front right there. Ooh, I guess we want to turn that. No big deal, just turn it a little bit, there we go. Another thing to be aware of, make sure the, the front is, and the claws are in the right position. Okay, because the skull has to sit in here. Okay, and we don't need this this long, so we can cut this off a little. It's not going to hurt anything, but we can cut it off a little bit. It just sits in here. 
And then let's, you gotta make sure that that opening goes through that skull. That's what I was telling you before. And it does. Okay. So we're getting there. There we go. That's how it sits. That's how it's gonna sit. Okay, one more thing that we need to do is we need to um, get the light in there and we gotta get our fog machine going. These are the feet, so let's hold on to those. We'll need those in a minute. So let's get this cleared out of the way and let's talk about that fog machine. You're gonna need to get a trip to the hardware store. You know, I went to like Home Depot. You need to go to the electronics store and the grocery store. So let's get this stuff out of the way. 